So as of version 421 on the Z1 dashboard software, you can now stream your data anywhere you want over the internet. So previous to this, you could use the Z1 server to send your data around your local uh, network. So if you had a laptop or a secondary computer that you wanted to use to display the data from your SIM, you could do so within your own network. But with this latest version, uh, you can stream your data anywhere in the world so that if you have uh, a team that's spread out around the world, you can monitor each other. Or if you want to uh, do driver training uh, to a remote location, you can do that as well. So how does that work? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. So stick around. So there are two parts to the streaming service. There is the Z1 server, which handles taking the data from the driver who wants to stream uh, and sending it to the internet. And there's the Z1 dashboard, and that is for the people who want to view the data that is being streamed. So to start everything, the first step is for the driver who wants to stream their data to run the Z1 server and set up the data stream. So to do that, I've started the Z1 server, I've started my SIM, and uh, I've connected to the SIM. So you can see here it says connected to SIM, and in this case I'm using iRacing, but you could use Assetto Corsa, or Project Cars, or Race Room, or any of the other ones that uh, the Z1 software supports. So after you've done that, you click here on the settings icon. And in the settings dialog, there is a tab called internet. So you click on that and select that. And it's pretty simple. The first thing you have to do is give your data stream a name. Uh, this will show up uh, on the list of available data streams that other people can connect to. So you can use your driver name or any, anything you want. So in this case, I'm just going to use my name. Uh, and we'll say it's a test server. If you want, you can give it a password. Um, if you do provide a password, that means anyone who wants to connect will have to enter that password. If you do not enter a password, then it's an open stream and anyone who wants to can connect and watch your data. Next is uh, on the right, deciding what data you want to actually stream to the internet. It's basically three uh, sets of data. And we suggest streaming only the data that you actually need. Uh, because that reduces the amount of uh, information going back and forth and will speed up the transfer. Because this is the internet, uh, things aren't going to be instantaneous. There could be uh, a second or so delay between whatever is happening on your machine and whatever the viewer is seeing on their machine. So there are three options, uh, car statistics, car data, and location data. Most of the time, you're going to want to send the car statistics and the car data at a minimum. Um, the car data is your telemetry uh, about your car, uh, you know, throttle, gas, suspension, uh, all that sort of thing. The car statistics is um, the things like lap times, uh, sector times, uh, anything to do with your timing around the track. And then look, the location data is uh, information about the other drivers that are on the session with you. So with both the car data and the location data, you can choose either full or brief. Um, full transmits everything um, that uh, you have about your car or the other competitors. And brief does a subset of that. Uh, we've published what these are on our website. So we'll put a link down in the description below so you can actually see specifically what is being transmitted if you choose full or you choose brief. So for uh, this demonstration, I'm just going to go with um, car statistics, car data, and full. And uh, I'm actually on a test session right now, so there's no other cars. So I'm not going to bother with the send location data. So once I've uh, decided on that, uh, I might have my name. I'm not going to pass or protect this. Uh, and I'm ready to go. I click the connect button. So after you do that, you get a dialog saying you've successfully connected. Click OK on that. Click OK on that. And then uh, after you've exited the settings dialog and you are connected, you'll see here it says internet is highlighted under the connection section. Uh, you get your ping 
to our servers uh, in milliseconds. So right now my ping is 79, uh, and the account time left, this is in hours and minutes. So this is the first step. Once this is done, other people can now see your data stream on the internet and can connect to it. So that's what we're going to talk about next. So the next step is the person who wants to connect. So for that person, they have their Z1 dashboard running. They haven't connected to a SIM uh, because they're going to connect to a data stream instead. So on the left here, you'll see this globe icon. So you click on that, and that then brings up this window, which shows you all the available uh, data streams that you can connect to. Uh, and if you uh, make the window a little bit wider, you can see the name of the stream, um, the name of the SIM that uh, is associated with it, the track they're at, the car they're using, their ping, and how many drivers are currently connected. Uh, and at the top, you get your ping right here. So I have an 83.2. Uh, and again, my account time left in hours and minutes. So if I want to connect to one of these data streams, I just click on it, and I should double click on it, and um, answer the question, yes, I do want to connect to it. If this was a password protected one, you would have seen a little uh, padlock, and it would have asked you for the password. Uh, but since this one is not, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to click yes. And then I get this success uh, box saying I'm connected. So now what I'm seeing is what the uh, driver, uh, wherever they are, is seeing in their car. Now the dashboard is selected by me uh, on the receiving end, but the data is supplied by the user. Um, so I can go into edit mode by right clicking and choosing any dashboard I want to, uh, to view. And uh, then I can look at this data however I want to depending on what's most useful. It could be a track map, it could be one of the dashboards, whichever one you want to use. Um, now, of course, in this demo, there's nobody else on track but uh, my one car, so the track maps, once I get to them, um, will actually just be the, just the one car here. Um, and uh, there's no data here under driver positions because when I set up the stream, I did not include the locations of the other cars. Uh, so if I want that to appear, you do need to include the uh, location data when you're setting up your stream. Now, whether you're in the car or out of the car is dependent on the driver who is actually driving. So right now they're in the car. So I get all of these screens as if I was in the car. If they get out of the car, then my dashboard would uh, show me the screens that I see when I'm out of it, like the statistics screens, the lap time screens, standing screens, and things like that. Now, if I want to exit uh, the stream as a uh, viewer, all I have to do is close out my uh, dashboard software. Closing it out disconnects me from the stream, and that's all I have to do. Now, if I'm on the uh, Z1 server and I am sending my data, if I want to disconnect uh, and end the transmission of my data, I would either just close the Z1 server, or I can go back into the settings, click on internet, and then disconnect. And it'll say you have successfully disconnected from the server. And then when I'm back out here again, I have nothing under my connections. So that's all there is to it. It's extremely easy to send your data now anywhere in the world. So if you are part of a uh, team doing an endurance race, a 6, a 12, or even a 24-hour race, you can monitor your uh, co-drivers as, um, as they're driving. Uh, you can be uh, an engineer for them. You can help them with strategy, with pit stops, any of that thing you want to do. Um, if you want to just help someone uh, coaching them, you can connect. Uh, and again, it's as simple as what we talked about. You have the Z1 server which uh, sends the data to the internet. And then you have the Z1 dashboard, which allows you to choose the stream you want to connect to and view that data. So I hope this has been a useful video. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and we'll have more like this soon.